Hello folks, happy August the 27th. I hope everybody's doing okay. I've got some really exciting news for you. Uh, we just came back from a five day dig in Montana at a new ranch that we've never been at before. A ranch that's well known for a dinosaur called Nano Tyrannus. And uh, we had a very successful dig. Uh, we found uh, quite a few pieces of Nano Tyrannus that we're looking forward to dissolving uh, in the EDTA that weak acid uh, that should dissolve away the bone and allow us to find the soft cells and the soft tissue. So, so this is a great update for the soft dinosaur cell project. But first let me start by saying uh, thank you Steve Edwards for your wonderful donation of $100 and all you folks who helped us uh, to raise enough money to go to the dig. Uh, we took a whole team with us. We were, like I say, at the dig for five days. Made a lot of exciting discoveries. Uh, we found the rib of a really cool dinosaur called Pachycephalosaurus, and we're looking forward to working on that one. Uh, and, and of course, as I mentioned, Nano Tyrannus. Uh, in fact, in a second, I'm going to show you uh, one of the significant Nano Tyrannus finds that we made. But Steve Edwards, thank you for your wonderful donation, and all you folks who donated uh, to the Soft Cell Dinosaur Project, allowing us to go to the dig, we thank you. Nanotyrannus was about 8 feet tall and about 18 feet long from tip to tip. Here we see it uh, with an artist's rendition, which we really don't know the coloration of these things, but it's interesting to look at them. But it definitely is a new genus and new species. That controversy uh, having been answered with the discovery of the dueling dinosaurs in Montana, a complete uh, skeleton of Nanotyrannus recovered, the second one known to science. So we know now that this is its own genus and species. We also think that this guy was a pack hunter. Uh, that it, that it uh, searched for prey in packs and attacked as a pack. And so, but there's a lot more to learn about Nano Tyrannus, and certainly we want to see if we can recover soft tissue from this skeleton. This complete skeleton is on display at the Burpee Museum in Rockford, Illinois, and if you see the blue arrow at the bottom pointing to the metatarsal, that's the bone that we recovered of this organism in Montana. Here you see the three metatarsals that descend down and form the toes of this three-toed dinosaur just before the claws erupt. And so this big knob, which is where the blue arrows are pointing, is where the claw attaches and comes down off of the toe. Here you see from the dueling dinosaurs from Montana, the blue arrow pointing to the metatarsal, which is similar to the one that we collected, and the red arrow pointing to this claw, which attaches to that metatarsal. Now, one of the cool things that we found uh, at the dig in Montana was this Nano Tyrannus uh, metatarsal. Uh, this is actually uh, a bone uh, from the leg, the, the three toed leg of the Nano Tyrannus. A really neat, lean, mean uh, running machine, kind of like uh, a T Rex, but smaller, leaner, thinner, uh, and, and certainly built to run. Uh, this guy was a really nasty, almost sort of like a raptor, but not in the same group as raptors. Uh, but we did find this metatarsal, this uh, toe bone, uh, which sits just before the claw uh, comes off. This is the middle toe, uh, and so this is just before the claw comes off, and uh, we'll show you some pictures of that. But we also found some other really uh, cool uh, bone fragments that we're looking forward to processing for soft tissues. Now let me end by saying that uh, we do appreciate all your help. It's been wonderful allowing us to go up to Montana to this brand new dig and uh, we're excited because we're, we're hoping uh, to go uh, in the future uh, every summer from here on out. We've, we've built a wonderful relationship with the ranch owner and we're looking forward to digging there uh, for, for years to come, but we need your help. And not only do we need your help to fund these digs, but folks, we've got some old electron microscopes that really need some help. Uh, they need to be on a service contract. And so uh, we're hoping uh, for the next segment of the GoFindMe uh, to raise uh, $10,000 uh, to at least cover one year for both of our electron microscopes. So would you please consider helping us on the Soft Dinosaur Cell Project? We need your help. We can't do this work without you. Remember that we're up against million dollar laboratories all over the country run by PhDs, filled with technicians, filled with beautiful equipment that we can't even come close uh, to, to comparing. But we're getting the kind of results that we're getting by the grace of God. And, uh, but we need your help. We need you to, to pass this around to all your friends, 
all your relatives, anybody you know who might be able to, to dig deep and help us raise the $10,000 that we need in this new leg to get our electron microscopes on service contracts. So thank you, God bless you, thanks for your help, and we'll see you again soon.